When it comes to learning iOS development or any programming language, there are so many resources that are out there that it can be tough to know where to focus your limited time and attention. That's why in this video, I'm gonna share my top resources and advice for anyone who's just starting out learning iOS development. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dave and I make videos that share insights from my own journey into iOS development and tips to help others break in and land their first job as an iOS developer. But before you can start the process of switching your career, what you have to do is start learning the basics of Swift and iOS development to make sure that it's something that you could see yourself enjoying for years to come. So my first tip is to start narrow and build things early on. In the beginning, I think it's really important to choose one course or one resource to start with and stay really focused on it until you finish it, rather than try and juggle several different resources at once. The top two courses that I would recommend are from raywenderlich.com and the 100 Days of Swift course from hackingwithswift.com. And the reason that I love these two in particular is because they do a really thorough job of teaching you the basics of Swift in a way that's easy to follow along, but also because they both have you start using what you're learning about the Swift language to build apps on your phone early on in the course. I think that there's something really cool about writing code on your computer and actually seeing it run on a physical device. And it's also a really great way to help reinforce the topics that you're starting to learn about. Ray Wenderlich is the name of a guy who created his own website that has courses around mobile development and they're always adding in new ones. But for iOS, you'd start with one called Your First iOS and UI Kit App, which is free and has about three hours worth of content that walks you through building a simple game while you're learning beginner concepts. After that, they have several more courses that you can go through in what they call the beginner learning path for iOS. Uh, however, you do have to sign up for a monthly subscription, which is $20 a month. But in my experience, it was well worth having for the first several months while I was learning iOS development. Another fantastic place to start is the 100 Days of Swift course by Paul Hudson, who created the Hacking with Swift uh, website. Now, this is a completely free course that's broken down into 100 different lessons. So if you get through it all, you'll come out of it with a really solid foundation of iOS development, the Swift programming language, as well as have built several functioning apps that will give you a great taste of what you can actually create as an iOS developer. Paul is an incredible teacher and he has so much passion behind what he does and it, it really just makes taking his course so much fun. So those are my top two recommendations on courses to start with. I'm sure there's a lot of other quality ones that are out there, but no matter what you choose, really try and stay focused on it and see if you can push yourself to complete the whole thing. You can find the links to these courses in the description as well as all the other resources that I'm gonna talk about. After completing a course, my next tip is gonna to be to carefully start to go broader. Looking back when I started, I definitely got ahead of myself by just following all of the content creators on YouTube, checking out all of their latest stuff, even if those videos were actually way above my head at the time. Uh, which probably just wasn't the best use of my time and my mental capacity. I do think that it's a great sign if after several weeks you uh, are still hungry for more and kind of feel yourself getting sucked into the world of iOS development, but I will say that somebody who approaches learning it strategically is of course going to gain competency much faster than somebody who doesn't really have much of a plan at all. I think that the best resource to help you start to solidify all these topics that you're learning about is the Swift Programming Language Guide. This guide actually comes straight from Apple, so you know it's gonna be really good, and it's just a handy resource to have when you are trying to learn more about a particular topic, either that you've struggled with or are just learning for the first time. It's a great one to have bookmarked, and it's something that I still refer to all the time. Beyond that, I think YouTube is a really great place to start to introduce some new concepts and there's a ton of quality iOS creators out there that I follow, but the three that I would recommend specifically for beginners are iOS Academy, Sean Allen, and Code with Chris. Definitely go check them out. They have a ton of stuff that you can go through and they're always releasing new videos. Soaking up tutorials and content is valuable and I do recommend it, but my next tip is to make sure that you're trying new things outside of just tutorials. The times that I've learned the most as a developer has been the times that I'm working on my own projects or working on my own ideas. Of course, I've learned a lot from following tutorials and there's definitely a time and place for that. But the whole point of programming is not just to follow a set list of instructions, it's actually to build something completely new. And so an easy way that you can start to do this is by 
actually adding a new feature or adding some new functionality into an existing project that you have from either a past course or a past tutorial. The next step from there would be to build an entirely new project based on one of your ideas. Now, starting out, the goal probably shouldn't be to launch a successful app on the App Store here, but more so just to challenge yourself to build something new where you don't have a full list of instructions that you can refer to. Even if it's something that's really small, this is still a really good way to get you out of your comfort zone a little bit and forces you to start problem solving. Programming is absolutely not about having everything memorized. So I'm not trying to say don't refer to past projects or don't Google things uh, because even really experienced programmers are constantly doing that. But the most growth as a developer is going to come when you start to take concepts that you've learned and apply them in new situations. And to wrap this up, I wanted to strongly encourage you to avoid using any of your time learning Swift UI as a beginner in 2021 if your primary goal in learning iOS development is to land a job. Swift UI is a new framework that Apple released toward the end of 2019 and is a completely new way of developing iOS apps compared to the UI kit framework that has been established for a long time and pretty much every company still uses today. If you wanna learn more about that topic specifically, there's tons of videos on YouTube that you can find that compare the two that you should definitely check out. I do think that Swift UI is a really cool and powerful way to create apps and while it eventually will become widely adopted in the workforce one day, uh, realistically, that's many years away. And so if you're trying to land a job as an iOS developer in the next couple of years, it's not really gonna help you out. But if you're only learning iOS as maybe a hobby to create your own apps, then I think that SwiftUI could be a really good option for you. All right, so those are my tips and resources to help you guys get off to a great start learning iOS development. Comment below if you guys have any questions about starting out or if there's any resources that you would add to this list. And remember that learning programming is a marathon. So Take it slow and make sure to celebrate the little wins along the way. Coming up next for you guys, I have a video sharing some of my thoughts about iOS boot camps and what you might wanna consider when trying to decide if that step is right for you. I make new videos every week and I have a lot in store around job hunting tactics for iOS developers who are trying to land their first job. So if you wanna see more iOS content, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.